Welcome back, everybody, to Capitalism Lab, episode two of our new venture. You remember last episode, we ended with our two new apartment complexes, as well as our original insurance shop, which is somewhere in here that I cannot find at the moment, but somewhere in here. Uh, here it is. Um, profit for this one has been declining. So, I mean, honestly, this episode, I think we're going to focus on raising our operating profit and continue to bring in cash. We're going to try to take advantage of the market where we can and hopefully set up and come away with a more diverse portfolio. Oh. Okay. I must have forgot about Panasonic. <laughs> Way to start off the video. We will take that. Honestly, we could use the, uh, the cash there, so... Wow, that's a quick 30 mil. Huh. I don't even remember purchasing that, but we'll take it. That's quite the balance and could actually allow us to expand our operations quite quickly. What do I need for a bank? Yeah, we're nowhere near that. So we're getting there. I think still if we can snag some of this prime real estate in the middle of a city, that'll be ideal. I don't know where all of the public kind of services are that we could try to build around, but I would assume a lot of this would continue to be developed. So maybe out here by City Hall would be a good area. I know we have one right by the university. Maybe if we continue to... Okay, this land cost, I mean, look at the difference here. You're on 20 mil, and even about a block or two out, it's gone down drastically. So I think right by City Hall could be nice. This is for sale. Okay, an R&D center. Interesting. But there, it looks like, yeah, there's a soccer field right here. And I mean, just on the other side of the street, it's pretty cheap. And then a block away, it's even cheaper. I say, yeah, I mean, on the same street, kind of with the city hall would be nice. So I think that's perfect. Yeah, I mean, look at the shopping and the uh, green and sports convenience. You can't beat that. Rent attractiveness is obviously subpar, but that's okay. Land value instantly, instantly appreciates. So we'll get that up to hopefully 100% rather quickly. This will be a nice, I think, booming area for the time to come. And I mean, we still have 24 mil in cash. We have a lot of money to work with here. So we're gonna wait for this to fill up as people begin to move in to their new home. A lot of competitors. I forgot how kind of compact and detailed this game can be when with forty plus competitors. I don't actually know if the uh, if these include the companies that are private. I mean, okay, these don't. There should be twenty of these, right? And it looks like there are. Interesting. LG releases a smartphone. Okay. We're not really going to dive into tech in this series, I don't think, just because I honestly haven't messed around with it too much, and banking seems a little more user-friendly. Maybe it's a, it could be a side venture in the future if we get there, but who knows. Okay, why are people not moving in? The days are moving rather slowly. I'll go full speed. Really at 11? What's going on here? Wow, okay. Maybe it's just competitive. I guess I got a little greedy expecting 100% right off the bat. Shouldn't be that easy. 
I hope we can hit 50 off this. I don't want to reduce it too much, but we will if we have to. I mean, there's really no downside. We just want the cash flow. We'll see where that takes us. But, okay. So, with three apartment complexes, we have a good amount of cash that I'm going to look to spread around. All these companies are trading within fairly deflated PEs. Um, it might be hard to tell which companies are in line to kind of take off. Wow, Pfizer. <laughs> okay, and we have our first merger. L'Oreal and Finna, Finna, Finn Mechanica. And Kraft goes public. Okay, a lot going on. Let's pause. So, a merger has taken place. That's pretty huge. That's pretty exciting to see. So clearly there are private companies. I just don't know where to find them. Probably under corporation. Oh yeah, I think this is right. And then we can see whether or not they are public something to eye on soon we'll be on these charts not for a while but hopefully we can get there i do like the amount of death too i know once i start adding a uh, a uh, c-suite team this expertise and personality will start to be more relevant but right now i mean as a real estate mogul it's not that big of a deal. Um, okay. Start fast forwarding. Okay, now we're up around 94%. That's, that's fine. We're at around 99% with uh, charging a premium, so... And that's grossing around 9% annually. And our land value has almost doubled, which is really nice. JP Morgan releasing couch pillows. Okay. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, we are going to look to diversify here. Um a lot of these These are some pretty enormous companies already. Looking at these market caps. Tata is worth almost four trillion if I'm reading that correctly. Maybe one that pays a nice dividend we could get into. I think the highest dividend's probably around one percent, unfortunately, but take it. Uh LG. Okay. Uh <laughs> Sure, let's get into LG. We'll put about 5 mil and let it run. It goes, it goes. That'll be our first diversification. I don't know how I look at other real estate competitors compared to us, but... Okay, that's at 100%. And craft... What's a commercial building right right next door? Okay. Honestly, that could be something we get into as well. I don't really know what the differences are. I think it's just it's it, it's just commercial real estate. Um so the same idea. Just higher setup costs. Tachi launching Budweiser beer. Okay. But we're grossing over 3 mil, or operating profit. I'm going to take a look at this income statement. Actually, our balance sheet first. As we can expect to see, most of that tied up in the land. And cash. We still have a lot of cash, and I want to make sure that's deployed. It's not really doing a lot just sitting here. A commercial building? I mean, if we can develop a sort of downtown area, HP is 
doors open. Pizzeria business. Actually, this might be a good place for another apartment. Because who is this? Oh, okay. This is owned by the government. Um, And just with our position, we could easily charge less and take some of this share away from them. So I think an apartment's right in this prime area. I mean, a police station, a bakery, a pizzeria business. Like, this is nice. So we can make this more fancy. We can make this more fancy. We have the cash for it. Honestly, right around here, with the land cost of around 6 mil. If this gets developed at all, I would expect to see the land value shoot up even more than it already is. So, the government has some new competitors in town. I don't know how much they're charging per rent, actually. I think I can check that. 27 per square foot? What are we charging? I assume we have 27 or 2. Seven. Okay. So we'll go to 90. That should automatically take away some of this business. I would assume. And a solid gain on the land so far. Obviously, that'll continue to rise once more businesses kind of come into this area and look to expand. Starbucks has their headquarters here. But there's a lot of just access to things in this little area so this is nice so as far as our real estate i mean we have our area over here by the city hall and the university we have one over here in this kind of niche by the police station and then here in this kind of developing small business area so i think these as far as positioning i think these are fine Again, hopefully that should improve our cash flow. This one was a little more expensive, so I don't know if the housing supply and demand is good. Okay, here we go. Profit. Oh, yeah, I probably should pay attention to this. Um, How are these other? Okay, stable, stable. As expected. Just really high startup costs, but that leaves us with around 3 mil in cash. I might look to diversify that even further in the market. Um, so we're up around 11% on LG. Pretty bullish market. Walgreens in a little bit of a correction. At least on the month, <laughs> on the year, yeah, it's been kind of insane. They kind of underperformed compared to the rest, so we'll buy. So LG and Walgreens are the two investments we're in, as well as the real estate. We're gonna go full speed and see where we end up. I don't really know what to do in the meantime. We're really just waiting for the cash to come in. My next move, uh, do we have any bonds that we owe still? We do. Public bondholders, uh, okay. Own a uh, good amount of. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be tough to pay back in full. We're not gonna mess with that right now. Pfizer launching desensitizing toothpaste. What is this, Illyria? Right by uh, this carnival and a supermarket and a grade school. Oh, okay. that's prime real estate. Starbucks. I'm still waiting more for more to develop down here, though. A lot of factories out here by the coast. Hospital way out here. Middle school. There's not really much out here. I don't know why a middle school would be out here. I don't actually know how people commute <laughs> from the mainland to 
this little grid or burrow, but we might look to move, make some moves down there. Oh, right. We were also going to address the issue with this business shop. Uh, these margins just aren't it. Our quality is so much superior, but we're just not making enough on it. And I mean, our profit, as you can see, revenue is stable, but our profit just continues to decline. Demand's good, but I just don't know if we can compete. And I'm not exactly sure where we would purchase these from instead. The supplier's in a different city anyways. So we might look to actually cut ties on this business. We're going to list it for sale and see what happens. Otherwise, I mean, at the end of the day, we can just demolish it. So that'll be good. That was really just a uh, to really get going anyways. Now we've seen a surge in uh, operating profit compared to previous months as expected. I think it's due to the success of this apartment, which is only at 75% capacity. I just don't know if there's enough in the area for people to actually move in anyway so i think that'll just come with patience not much i can do about that now either way i mean our operating profit has improved biggest expense operating overhead yeah huh i don't really know what we can do to manage that yet But these are good. This is nice to, oh. Uh-oh. Our bonds have matured. 10 mil. Okay, I should have seen that coming. I'm gonna sell, oh, all right, all right, all right. LG stock. It's at 7%. Gain, so. I think we can take that and cash that out. Take the 8 mil. Hopefully that'll be enough to repay these bonds that we owe. Yes, okay. Good. I think we're backing up and going. Okay. We're on 5.3 mil now. Nice. See? Again, for a bank. Yeah, that's not happening anytime soon, still. We could start going into commercial buildings. Otherwise, I thought there was a way that we could build kind of community units over here, like a tennis court or a school. I don't know if I have to be the mayor of this town or have a, uh, any association with these political parties. I'm not too sure. I just remember I thought you could do that. Uh, I don't want to own a meeting. Ooh, a hotel. Okay, if we're going to build any type of, re like type of retail store, I would say no. Location is... <laughs> but this is good. We're generating a nice amount of cash that's making me comfortable. Occupancy at 98% now, which is nice. All these other ones at 100. About 100. Uh, revenue and profit are fine. And then we should have a good, nice gain on the land. Okay. What do we want to do? Six million cash. I don't know when our bonds are due. I should probably actually <laughs> look at that this time. Um. 
Oh, these are how we, okay, these are how we buy or sell other bonds. I don't know if ours just matured. I don't know where we look at if they, uh, or where they just pay back. I don't know how to check outstanding bonds. Oh, well, I don't think it's important. I think we, uh, had enough cash to meet the demands at maturity. So. Okay, things are looking nice. We've done a lot. We've expanded our real estate empire. Uh, we are looking to sell the insurance shop. It's for sale. Honestly, uh, I doubt we're going to get any acres. Might just demolish it. Or add other service to try to mm. yeah I, I don't i just don't think we win on margins i think i can just demolish this uh and we're gonna sell the land that should give us a nice amount of cash wow <laughs> okay we have 22 mil to work with now that's good I think we got a lot from that land. But we're in a good position now. I think we might look to add some commercial buildings. Um, yeah. These would probably be closer to the main urban area right around here that okay commuting convenience okay we picked a good spot that has that's good that's good again it's not the most important thing in the world if we are making exactly what the market rent says we should you can always start at a discount we're just looking to improve cash flow that's all we're doing at this point still so closing that shop after 10 years I'm sad but it was the right move it was just kind of bleeding us on the on the balance sheet and the and the uh, income statement so I think that was a good decision replacing that with a commercial building will be the smart move in the long run the demand isn't I mean it's still fine it's still there but hopefully again I want other things to move into this area so that this appreciation will happen a little faster conservatively i would assume the appreciation of these would would move just a little bit higher than inflation and so far we've seen that that's that's the case it's gone above my expectations so that's really good again i think operating profit is still the most important thing So this bond interest should go away now since we actually paid those off. That's no longer a burden to us. Cost of sales have gone way down. And that's that might be because of, we, of us getting rid of our first business. And I don't think the apartments in real estate actually have a lot of <laughs> cogs. Again, the most important expense is the operating overhead. I don't, I, again, I still, I still don't know if we can do much about it right now. Exxon acquires Walmart. Interesting. I don't know who the other big players are in the real estate. That would be fun to kind of see, you know, who we're against. I would assume we can go by L rankings. Actually, where are we in the rankings? <laughs> Subpar on a lot of these. Seventh on profit margin, though. 
And debt to assets. Yeah, we don't have any debt. Good. These are good, I think, for a real estate company anyway. 14th. I don't know how we see the other the other leader. ICBC is first. Oh, that's insurance. 15th in real estate. Really? 5th in real estate. Uh, okay. So we're nowhere near the top, but I think we have healthy cash flows. That's, again, like, I, I keep restating that, but I think it's the most important thing. Yeah, as we get further out, a lot of R&D factors. High school, though. Here, that could be actual other place open. More R&Ds over here. Okay. We're in a good spot, ladies and gentlemen. We are in a good spot. These numbers continue to improve, and that's really all I'm looking at. The cash will come with time. And now that this uh, occupancy is at around 100%, we could probably bump that up. Market rent. And we're looking stable. I hope you all enjoy the video, and I will see you next time.